This is your Uncle Tree Jim, and we are back with Mass Effect 2. Last time we found our way to the upper levels of the Dantius Towers in our pursuit of Thane Krios. We located another group of survivors who attributed their survival to an unknown sniper, likely Thane. For now, we're about to emerge onto the bridge connecting both towers, but we still have a formidable security force to deal with. The son of Dantius is sparing no expense to make sure that she remains safe, although. I would wonder whether or not sending her mercs on a cleanup mission to take care of workers was a good idea. If anything, she certainly divided her forces, uh, distracted them with a task that doesn't really have anything to do with security, so... In a way, that works out for Thane, and it hopefully will work out for us. I want to go ahead and get that. I'm triggered, so. Oh shit, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, Zaid? Yeah. Was a waste. That was close. They got a commando, and these ones carry Claymore shotguns. Not fun. You want to keep your distance from them. I just don't know. I, I mean, I kind of wonder if there's like a specific set of. Uh, Weapon stats associated with enemies that look like they're carrying super versions of the normal weapons. Uh, the weapon arm, basically the armament for the Mass Effect 3 isn't necessarily as expansive as it is in Mass Effect. Uh, or, sorry, Mass Effect 2 isn't expansive as it is in Mass Effect 3. So a claymore is basically just a souped up, or uh, it's a slower version, but it's a very powerful. Uh, Counterpart to most of the other shotguns you'll ever encounter in the game. Focus fire on my target. All right. Die. This is slowing down. Ah. Oh. Shouldn't have incinerate that time, but it's okay. Hey, Garrus. Oh yeah, even though, even though it's overload, man. That should do even more. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh. Having a bad day, aren't you? Okay. Got him. You got it. Let's pick up some thermal clips. Yeah, I wanted to detonate this container over here as quickly as possible for the mercs moved away from it. Let's keep moving up. No more thermal clips. Okay, for now. Oh, there, there's some here actually, and we actually have a submachine gun scan. This is valuable. So it actually is submachine gun damage. All right, and we can grab some goodies. Twelve thousand creds. No amount to scoff at. So I'll take that. Excuse me, take that. Get the med kit. And we have our last stretch, our home stretch to cross. Once we can kind of establish a foothold here, it'll be a lot easier moving forward. I don't care what you do. No one gets a 
Okay. Force these guys back. And there's actually a bit of a soft mechanic here. It's a kind of a passive uh, debuff if you want to look at it this way. The screen does shake. You know, my aiming, I'm not exactly the go a god among snipers when it comes to video gaming, but uh, with the screen shaking this much, you're going to find your aim thrown off just a little bit. So that's a little bit of challenge. You don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about actually being knocked off. Um, there's a bit of a boundary on either side, so you can kind of be walking on either side. But I'm not actually like being thrown off. Um, my aim, however, is suffering. Just because of the screen shaking from the wind. So. Okay. Take this guy out. The move up. Understood. And there are two rocket drones on your side, so we don't need to be careful, so. Here we go. Hitting them with everything I've got. Minus ammo. Mind over matter. Sit down. cover. No. Oh. Okay. Am I a little bit off? a little panic. Or not really panic, but just try to like get them all. Oh, we didn't get enough of them in there. Okay, well, that's all right. I am going to do this. And stay down. You got it. Deploying warp field. Mm, got her. I feel she'd pick out some point. That bet paid off. Mm. There we go. Get some. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna move back. Got a little too close that time. Let's see if I can target them. Got him. Nice. Alright, next up. Roughly. Ok, 
Okay. Come on. Keep doing damage to it. Without using a weapon, uh, or without using our, uh, Fuck it, I'll call it ammo. Without using our ammo. One less to worry about. Alright, well there we go. Here we go. On my way. What the hell am I paying you for? To be easy targets. You never heard of lemmings? Uh oh, Garrus, you actually need to push back a bit. Oh boy, hey, no, 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 no. Okay, guys, switch up. count on them to make far more accurate shots than I ever can because they're bots so uh garrison's either people too Going to cover. I know I'm on it. I still love them kind of sort of we should have an Asari commando there we go I'll tear you apart Command up specifically. Mm hmm. Oh, whoops. Let's do this. the the commander type voice there sounds like a commander although she is a commando eh, let's do this interrupter now fire this will break them down oh Okay. If it was a Mass Effect 3, we could definitely start doing combos, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, Reacquire you... Oh, no. Not gonna work. Okay. I wanna try to arc it around. Mm, I could do it now. Let's do this. Just sit back and do this. Get them off me! Very fun ways you can actually play around with the way the game um, intended you to play, I guess. Oh yeah. Damn it. Finish it off. 
A little too late for that. All right. Loud and clear. Well, I think we've now dealt with almost all the security forces. She only has a handful, a token handful of uh, mercenaries left, or private security professionals. We should just call them. Actually, wait a second. Whoa, hang on. Hey. Uh, I just noticed something. The wobbling stopped. Hmm. I learned something new. I learned something very new. I did not expect that, but okay. The wobbling is... It's gone. That might be something that's only tied to the combat in the area, but okay. Good for thought. Anyway, I think we're done here, so let's go ahead and wrap up the mission by coming face to face with Masana Dantius, saying hello, seeing how she's doing, seeing how the kids are, look at her 401k plan. All over but the cleanup. How's it going, babe? Miss me? Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. Maybe I just missed you. Screw you, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people because they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... <laughs> Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Nasana and her men deserve what they got. Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Far be it for me to take the moral high ground with this comment, but... I guess I kind of need to make up for all the renegade I've been accumulating. You used me so you could kill her. I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? Someone's been abducting entire human colonies. We're gonna stop them. We already know the culprits. A race called the Collectors. I've heard of them. 
Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Well, at least you guys are not practicing social distancing, so... <laughs> oh well. I mean, if you wanted to avoid it, you should be socially distanced a bit. What is it like? Six feet for humans? Twelve feet for Drell? I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. And just like that, Bane Krios has joined the party. The son of Dantius will not be appearing in Mass Effect 3. Her role is pretty much done. She got what was coming to her, so, I mean... Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, I guess. Recruited Thane Krios for the team, but medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives dealing with public damage to Dantius Towers. Uh, fair enough, we did blow up a lot of shit, so... So we have Viper Sniper Rifle. Submachine gun damage, got all the creds, all the elements zero, yeah, job well done. I hate to bring this up now, but in that last shot where Thane tells you you're gonna see a heal work for you pro bono, there was no shadow under Shepard, or it was a very minimal shadow compared to Thane's. That was a little weird. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. And once again, I'm gonna choose Renegade, not just not for the points, but because I feel like if I were to let Assassin aboard a ship, I'd want to keep an eye on them. This is not going to have any consequences beyond just getting Renegade points, but we did allow... Uh, I mean, technically everyone on, the sh everyone on the ship that we recruited is a trained killer, so... Yeah. All the main combat crew that we could actually take with us on missions anyway. Still. Jacob. We need him, but that doesn't mean I trust him. Let me know if he turns into a problem. Aye, aye, Commander. The irony here is that Jacob is technically a gun for hire, so, you know, that does add an interesting dynamic or maybe make him just a little bit of a hypocrite. I don't know, I'm not gonna, like, play moral police with Jacob just yet. We'll save that for when we get to his loyalty mission. But yeah, like I said earlier, um, it's a small thing, but during that last shot where Thane's telling you he'll work for you for no charge, basically pro bono, uh, I couldn't see much of a uh, shadow under Shepard. I might be the angle of the window, or maybe just 
maybe Bane was standing more directly in front of an open spot. I don't know. I feel like maybe some lighting issue there that the sweet effects that I currently have installed has helped um, exacerbate. I don't know. But I think that's just a small problem. It's not going to bug me. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just say this is where we should stop for now. I'll go ahead and make a save here. And we'll continue on from this point. Next time we'll debrief with the crew, but until next time, this is a great tree jam. So I want to wish you guys a happy day and night, evening, afternoon, wherever you might be in this universe or the next. And we'll see where our journeys take us next. Next up, we have Samara's, I think probably her mission, unless we have the, the collector ship mission that f automatically fires off after a certain point. But for now, I just want to go ahead and say thank you for tuning in. Have a good one, stay safe, and I'll see you guys around.